So big changes are still shaking up Acai Linux project after the main maintainer a few months ago, Hector Martin, had stepped down from the project. We now have a new person stepping down from the project and seemingly going into a new role. Alyssa, another key graphics driver, contributor, and maintainer, is stepping down from the Acai Linux project. What is Acai Linux? Well, it's a project to really port over Linux to Apple Silicon Macs and they've been making great headway, although they've been having great headwinds as well. The Linux on Apple Silicon, Acai Linux aims to bring you a polished Linux experience on Apple Silicon Macs, and they've pretty much done so successfully. With a lot of Linux drivers now being able to work on Apple Silicon, another big deal is this project is pushing Rust forward. A little background, Hector Martin actually stepped down from this project in mid-February of this year, as he resigned as the upstream Apple ARM maintainer and as the Acai project lead. The reasons were really for things like burnout. Now this sparked a little bit of controversy as Hector Martin, or also known as Mark Han Online, has a little bit of a controversial reputation as he's criticized the kernel culture many times, talking about abuse and toxicity inside the community and some people would say self-sabotaging. But we're not talking about Hector here. Hector resigned and stepped down as of mid-February and had admitted that Acai had become less fun over time and that he had missed other aspects of life beyond the project, including things like hobbies, downtime, making music, and just hanging out with family and friends. And one particular moment that caused a clash on the Linux kernel mailing list was over the Rust integration. Martin felt blocked by influential maintainers, including Linus Torvalds, which ultimately drove Martin to resign his upstream maintainer role. This all pretty much left a big void in SIE Linux and threw it into uncertainty on where the project would go. Months later, now we're seeing more fallout in the Acai Linux project. Alyssa now chooses to step down. As Alyssa Rosenwig is one of the most important people tied to Acai Linux, especially when it comes to graphics support on Apple Silicon. Alyssa is an open source graphics developer who's best known for her work on the Mesa graphics stack when it comes to Silicon. When Apple Silicon Macs for the first time shipped in 2020, the biggest missing piece for it was a Linux graphics driver. And Alyssa took on one of the hardest challenges, which was reverse engineering the Apple GPU protocol to build an open source driver from scratch, which was a massive feat. And now you can tell why Alyssa is going to be missed by the team. And this is going to create a massive void when it comes to Apple Silicon Macs on Linux, because with these two massive developers and contributors stepping down with Alyssa gone, GP progress from the M3 and M4 Macs and polishing some of the other drivers for M1 and M2 is, is going to dramatically stall. With each chip generation between M1, 2, 3, there are hardware blocks and changes and reverse engineering must take place. People are leaving Acai Linux and there is currently no single coordinator driving the project's vision and clearly people leaving. So let's read through Alyssa's story as she posted before leaving the Acai Linux team. But before we do, make sure to subscribe below if you like videos like this, you wouldn't want to miss another one. Also, make sure to smash that like button on the way back up. This was posted just a few days ago, August 26, 2025, dissecting the Apple M1 GPU, the end. In 2020, Apple released the M1 with a custom GPU. We got it to work, reverse engineering the hardware and porting Linux. Today, you can run Linux on a range of M1 and M2 Macs. With almost all hardware working, wireless, audio, and full graphics acceleration, our story begins in December of 2020 when Hector Martin kicked off Acai Linux. I was working for Collabora, working on Panfrost, the open source Mesa 3D driver for ARM Mali GPUs. Hector put out a public call for guidance from upstream open source maintainers, and I bit I just intended to give some quick pointers. Instead, I bought myself a Christmas present and got to work. In between my university coursework and Collabora work, I poked at the shader instruction set. One thing led to another. Within a few weeks, I drew a triangle. In 3D graphics, once you can draw a triangle, you can do anything. Pretty soon, I started work on a shader compiler. After my final exams that semester, I took a few days off from Collabora to bring up an OpenGL driver capable of spinning gears with my new compiler. Over the next year, I kept reverse engineering and improving the driver until it could run 3D games on Mac OS. That must have been a very 
daunting and exciting accomplishment. Meanwhile, Acai Lina wrote a kernel driver on the Apple GPU. My user space OpenGL driver ran on macOS, leaving her kernel driver as a missing piece for an open source graphics stack. In December of 2022, we shipped graphics acceleration in Acai Linux. In January of 2023, I started my final semester in the computer science program at the University of Toronto. For years, I juggled my coursework with my part-time job and my hobby driver. I faced the same questions as my peers. What will I do after graduation? Maybe Pam Frost. I started reverse engineering the Mali Midgard GPU back in 2017 when I was in high school. That led to an internship at Calabra in 2019 once I graduated, turning into my job throughout four years of university. During that time, Pam Frost grew from a kid's pet project based on black box reverse engineering to a professional driver engineered by a team with arms backing and hardware documentation. I did what I set out to do and the project succeeded beyond my dreams. It was time to move on. What did I want to do next? First, I started with the M1 ship a great driver, then bring full conformant OpenGL drivers to the M1. Apple's drivers are non-conformant, but we should strive for the industry standard. Bring full conformant Vulkan to Apple platforms, disproving the myth that Vulkan isn't suitable for Apple hardware. Bring Proton Gaming to Acai Linux, thanks to Valve's work for the Steam Deck. Windows games can run better on Linux than even on Windows. Why not reap those benefits on the M1? Pan Frost was my challenge until we won. My next challenge, gaming on Linux on M1. Once I finished my coursework, I started full-time on gaming on Linux. Within a month, we shipped the OpenGL 3.1 on Acai Linux. A few weeks later, we passed the official conformance for OpenGL ES 3.1 that put us at feature parity with Pam Frost. I wanted to go further. OpenGL ES 3.2 requires geometry shaders, a legacy feature not supported by either ARM or Apple hardware. The proprietary OpenGL drivers emulate geometry shaders with compute, but there was no open source prior art to borrow. Even though multiple Mesa drivers need geometry, tessellation, emulation, nobody did the work to get there. My early progress on OpenGL was fast thanks to the mature common code in Mesa. It was time to pay it forward. Over the rest of the year, I implemented geometry, tessellation, shader emulation, and also the rest of the OWL. In January of 2024, I passed the conformance for the full OpenGL 4.6 specification, finishing up OpenGL. Vulkan wasn't too bad either. I polished OpenGL driver for a few months, but once I started typing a Vulkan driver, I passed the 1.3 conformance in a few weeks. What remained was wiring up the geometry, tessellation, emulation to my shiny new Vulkan driver, since those are required by Direct3D, and voila, Proton Games. All along the way, Carol Herbst passed the OpenCL 3.0 conformance on the M1 running my compiler atop his Rust ICL front end. Meanwhile, when the Vulkan 1.4 specification was published, we were ready and shipped a conformant implementation on the same day. After that, I implemented sparse texture support, unlocking Direct3D 12 via Proton. Now what? Ship a great driver, check. Conformant OpenGL 4.6, OpenGL ES 3.2, and OpenCL 3.0, check. Conformant Vulkan 1.4, check. Proton Gaming, check. That's a wrap. We've succeeded beyond my dreams. The challenges I chased, I have tackled. The drivers are fully upstreamed in Mesa. Performance isn't too bad. With the Vulkan on Apple myth busted, Conformant Vulkan is now coming to macOS via Lunar G's Cosmic Crisp project building on my work. Satisfied, I am stepping away from the Apple ecosystem. My friends in the Acai Linux orbit will carry the torch from here. As for me, on to the next challenge. And we're going to be talking about that next challenge as we've received more information about it and a wonderful way that Alyssa ended this whole entire post as she considers her job finished at Acai Linux, doing everything she wanted to do, making Linux on M1 and M2 Max not only possible, but powerful, including being able to do things like use the desktop, use it for development, and even game in some instances. Without Alyssa, Apple Silicon on Linux would still be stuck in software rendering. Thanks to her, we got full OpenGL, Vulkan, and even Proton Gaming. Alyssa, great work, and best of luck to your future endeavors. 
Now we do get a little glimpse of those future endeavors, but before we get there, if you want to learn more about Linux, check out my checklist, cheat sheet, and mind map, all with new flashcards at SavvyNick.com today. Let's see a glimpse at the new challenge. So Alyssa at the end of the post actually linked us to a new architecture at Intel. The next challenge seems to be Intel's XE HPG architecture. Does this allude to working at Intel? With massive layoffs as at Intel, it's surprising that someone's breaking into Intel at this point, but it's kind of funny. This Easter egg here announcement seems to be for Linux users, as it might be a fight to make Linux graphics drivers even better through Intel and no longer on Macs. Instead, we're focused on desktop PCs. A lot of the stuff that Alyssa was doing is in this XE HPG architecture, and the HPG stands for High Performance Gaming, the tier of XE GPU architecture. It's based on the Intel Arc A series discrete GPUs, codenamed Alchemist, and it's built on TSMC's six nanometer process designed to take Intel from lower power integrated graphics to serious game class discrete GPU. So this might be an amazing project for Alyssa and quite a big deal. As we've actually seen with no confirmation that she's actually working at Intel, there has been another drop. Notice this is Alyssa's actual CV or resume. Under experience, you'll notice something interesting as being a Valve independent contractor from May of 23 to 25, we now see a new entry, August 25 to present, and that is design open source graphics drivers for Intel GPUs. Responsibilities include design and develop OpenGL and Vulkan drivers to improve Linux gaming. She's still focusing on Linux, which is fantastic. We're not losing Alyssa and Linux, but we are for Acai Linux. Research techniques to build a state of art shader compiler, go figure, this one's already been checked off in a previous project, debug, test, and maintain Intel's open source graphics drivers. Still working in open source, profile 3D workloads to identify bottlenecks and improve performance and contribute to the specifications of graphics standards. This all seems right up her alley, perfectly aligning with the background and skills that she's tailored her work towards. Alyssa's new Intel role seems like a continuation of her career. It's the same skill set, shader compilers, OpenGL Vulkan, and driver debugging. Very similar ecosystem, including Mesa and open source graphics, but now with the corporate backing and a chance to improve Linux gaming at scale. So there's definitely a massive loss here for the Acai Linux project, with not only Hector Martin stepping down, Acai Lina, and now Alyssa all stepping away, the project loses some of its greatest developers. These are the people who help crack open Apple Silicon, making it possible to run Linux on these cutting edge laptops. We'll see what happens to the project as a whole. But while this is a setback for Apple Silicon Linux, it's also a step forward in Linux. Alyssa gets to put her talents towards making another big impact and improving OpenGL, Vulkan, and other gaming drivers on Linux. So a big congratulations to Alyssa for both her hard work at I say Linux, and her continued work at Intel. This is an incredible win for open source graphics and the Linux ecosystem as a whole. What do you think is going to happen to Acai Linux and the future of Linux on Apple Silicon? I'd love to hear from you in the comments section below. If you enjoy following through with stories like this, don't forget to subscribe below. You wouldn't wanna miss another video. YouTube can get finicky. Also, smash that like button on the way back up to share this with others. Catch me in a great community on Discord and I'll catch you in another video. Thanks for watching.